So the end result is this beautiful little application here. You can't go to anything except the weather. And if you go to information, you can change it by clicking enter and then done. And then it will have the weather only for two days though, for today and tomorrow. And the home button works. This is your recording thing, which is pretty much pointless. The web you can put in your or I you can put in a web address like so, although it doesn't work. See what? And it does nothing, but you can click this and kind of get a view of it. This is basically just for someone who wants to get used to the interface and isn't sure about buying the iPhone or iPod Touch yet. And you can go into iPod. None of these songs actually work, but you can go into cover flow. You can't switch between them, but that's all you can do. And you can go like this just to get a hint of what it's like. And that's pretty much it. So in order to get this, you're going to go to the internet, download Adobe Air right here. And then once you've downloaded that, you're going to go to this website. They'll both be in the description. And go to Air iPhone. And then click this one, or download desktop iPhone version 3.51. And then once you've installed Air, then I open up the download from Air iPhone. And then it will come up with a thing saying, do you wish to install on Adobe Air? And then just click yes. And then you'll get, <coughs> you'll get this little icon right here. And then just click on it. It'll take a while for it to load up. And then it'll get the, er, and then you'll get this little, application. So thanks. Hope you guys uh, like it. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.